In a previous video, we saw how to get a basic pattern in. Now, let's look at patterns in more detail. So, here's the pattern I did previously. You can hear that my timing with the bongos is a little bit off. Now, this is very easy to fix using Machine Micro. Simply hold the Shift button and press Pad 5, which says Quantize. And you can hear that the bongos have been corrected. Now, if you work with a lot of quantize, you might want to change the quantize resolution from, say, 16th notes to 8th notes. You can do this by pressing the grid button and then pressing F3 so that it says step. And now here's your quantize resolution, and you can turn the control knob to select a different quantize value. Now, sometimes you might want to duplicate an existing pattern to make changes to the copy in order to create a variation. To do this, press the Pattern button, select the pattern you're interested in, then press and hold the Duplicate button. Now press the Source pattern, and then press the pad onto which you want the copy to go. And now the pattern has been duplicated. Now you could, for example, add more parts to create a variation. Note Repeat is a fun performance tool. Holding Note Repeat and a pad causes that pad to be re-triggered at a regular interval. You can change the interval by holding Note Repeat and selecting buttons F1 through F3. Here I'll select 16th notes. You can also change the note repeat value for each of the tabs by selecting a tab and then using the control knob to change it to a different value. Machine Micro also features a step mode for entering patterns. You have access to this by hitting the shift button and then pressing note repeat. You'll see that step mode is written right above it. Now I'll press the play button and you'll see each of Machine's 16 pads light up in sequence. Each one of the pads represents a 16th note in our step sequence. The first thing you want to do to get recording is to select a sound. You can do that by pressing select, and I'll just choose the first pad, which is my kick drum. Now, pressing a pad engages the step. There's my kick drum. I'll choose a different sound. And another. You can also turn steps off by pressing them again. Now, when you have a lot of patterns going from several different groups, you might want to chain them together into one cohesive song. You do this by using Scene Mode. This is covered in the Machine Micro Manual. Machine Micro comes with lots of built-in effects. Let's take a look. In order to understand effects in Machine, you should first understand how audio is bused internally via modules. Each sound contains four module slots. Usually the first slot is occupied by a sample or instrument, and then the sound passes from left to right through the other module slots. Therefore, putting an effect in any of the slots downstream of the sample or instrument will cause the sound to pass directly through that effect. Let's load an effect using the Machine Micro hardware. The first thing you want to do is press F3 to select the Sound tab. I'm going to put a reverb on just this snare drum. Now, you can put an effect on an individual sound, across an entire group, or across all of the groups in the project, but I only want it on the snare drum in this instance, and that's why I've selected Sound, F3. Next, select the Nav button, and press F3 again to select Module. Now, you'll notice that the pads at the top of the machine now light up. Each one of these four pads represents module slots, one through four. 
Because I want to put the reverb in the slot right after the snare drum, I'm going to make sure that slot number two is selected. Let go of the nav button. Next, press the browse button. Now you browse for effects in a very similar way that you browse for drum kits and individual sounds, as we saw earlier. Press the nav button and the left arrow to get to the first page where it says file type. And instead of whatever is there originally, make sure that effects is selected. Now press nav and the right arrow to go to the second page. For bank type, choose factory effects. Again to the next page, I'm going to choose reverb as the effect type. Now, pressing F2 will take us to our results. Here there's a preset called Acoustic Drums. I'll just press Enter, and now my snare drum has an acoustic reverb on it.